Welcome to clickmybrother.com. Let me discuss about the process rank based decision fusion for 3D shape based face recognition. In this process, face recognition is one of the most biometric technique in developing the security world in our proposed to use the robust method to recognize the 2D face using the robust algorithm. Principal component analysis techniques will help to extract the feature of face and combine these values to recognize the face by using the KNN classifier, K nearest neighbor classifier that all proposed process give very accurate result combined to the existing method. In that method, the performance of face recognition is improved. In the face recognition method is the oldest method in technology world. There are lot of methods was used previously. In the 2D face recognition previous method extract the less amount of feature. Now we have to using the proposed technique is very efficiently. In proposed to extract the high amount of features compares to the existing system. In the existing system class where accuracy was low, so it gives the result the less accuracy. In proposed class where is robust to classify the all features at the high efficiency. In proposed algorithm of PCA extract the features of like surface of the image that features are classified in robust classifier of KNN classifier to find the accurate face recognition. This is the flow of our process the rank based face recognition. In this step to ready the image or pictures for our process. In this process the first we load the query image. If if the image is colored we convert that to the gray image and the gray image contains the RGB for give the color into the image pixels. The color image size is M in T and the cut contain RGB for the given color a pixels. If the RGB is removed the color may change the gray scale image, the two dimensional image, the image is converted to gray scale image is the noise. There are pixels the image size change by because the image size is unique so it was changed by same level. After the image is changed using the Gaussian filter to remove the noise in the query image. The query image noise removal is uh, pixel values are removing the unwanted pixels in the image. That unwanted pixels are changed in every time to load off the image. That noise reduces the performance of the image retrieval so it is remove the Gaussian blur. It's the result of blurring an image by Gaussian function. It is widely used to effect in graphic software typically reduce the image noise and reduce the detail. The visual effect of this blurring technique is smooth blur resembling that of viewing the image through the translucent screen distinctly. The, the next step is to the extract the features. The extract the features is digital image in matrix form so the processing time is high very complexity. The vector is less complexity for the process so the image matrix is converted to the vectors for easy process. There are so many transformer techniques was used previously that the DWT, DCT, DST and FFT etc. In our process we use the principal component analysis for extract the features. The feature is vector transform of the given image. The PCA based feature extraction is should be the profiles corresponding to the, the sample images and the total number of uh, samples respectively. The samples were classified to the clinical sets of PCA applied in two ways. The method 1 and the method 2 the sample based the M, M I R and A based and sample based methods to be handled to the extract the features in the PCA. The train feature used the feature extraction process in every image of database and set up the values for each feature for identify the feature values during the classification process. That process is same as the feature extraction of the query image that all the features are stored in database for retrieval and authentication process. The retrieval images should be the use the KNN method for retrieval the image in database. The K nearest neighbor class pair is the effective learner for a general pattern to recognize the domains. The KNN class pair are appealing because there are conceptual kind of simplicity which makes them easy to implement the KNN class way allow the new information to be easily included at runtime and are thus useful for applications that collects the user feedback gain and algorithm follows the basic structure of adopted by iterating through the training set to produce the 
in sample of class based as the proposed hypothesis. However, during each iteration, instead of testing the current hypothesis with the whole set of training instances, most K in and holds out a training instance and the class based the held out instance using the rest of training set. By using this clever one out method, each training instance will not help class by itself. This is important because by not leaving the instance out, the gain and class where will always achieve hundred percent training set accuracy and boosting is not possible. In traditional boosting, it should be the instance the misclassified would have its weight changed by the gain and algorithm. A weighted term is associated with the each training instance and weight terms are initialized to zero. This Merlin main window we have to concentrate on current folder command window workspace and command vista folder. The command folder is very useful to load the executed files in our process. The command window shows the visual view for running of our process. The workspace is stored the values and variables of using coding uh, parameters and the variables of our process. The command vista is stored in all process obtained in the command window of our uh, running coding. During the running, we have to run the process. Select the main data, right click and click run. After clicking run, we have to visually view the window for our process. The phase recognition is still running, it takes some time to obtain the window for our process. This is the initial process of our robust 2D phase recognition using principal compound analysis and again. First of all, we, we have to click the browse button to input, get the input of our process. I get the third image from query image. I, I select the second image. The image should be viewed in the display of our process. Next, we have to click the filter button. After clicking the filter button, the noise should be removed from the input image because they improve the quality of input images to remove the unwanted pixels from the input image. Next, we have to click the PCA, Principal Component Analysis. After clicking the Principal Component Analysis, we have to see the input image should be separated from the applying the algorithm of Principal Component Analysis. First, we have to extract the test feature of our process. Click the extract switch to here. We have to display the values should be the all values should be the training of our process each image. Next we have to extract the training fear. After clicking the extract training fear, the weight bar should be low or process to from we have to extract the train feature of our process and then finally the train the features. In the train the features we have to see the flow of our process to obtain the uh, how to how to retrieve the image to flow the between the class value of classification in class uh, one to five of our process between the image and class value. Now this is the final window. In that final window, we have to click the retrieve to retrieve the phase recognition process of our input image. After clicking the retrieve, we have to show the class value for classification graph in the class by value and uh, between the class by value and the class of the process. This is the original uh, retrieved image of our process. In the retrieved image, you have to do the another step is analysis of our process. Analysis is very useful to analyze the class by using the principal component analysis of our process. After class process, we have to display the value should be the class accuracy. The accuracy of the result should be the notified the uh, processing the input image to retrieving the output image. We have to conclude our process. We have to take the input image to applying the PCA principle common analysis to finally retrieve the original image uh, very effectively and successfully done. And also the accuracy should be validated. Thank you.